Hey, it's Tyler Weaver, founder of Tyler Talks Trash and CrazyAboutCompost.com, and today I wanted to show you a different technique than what I normally show in my videos. All of my videos up to this point have been aerobic composting, meaning that they require oxygen. Whether you have a compost bin, a compost tumbler, you're composting with worms, what have you. All these methods require tumbling, turning, stirring, airflow. All th that's all really important for these methods. But what about the opposite? So for today's video, we're going to compost simply using a garbage bag. So all we'll need for this method, known as anaerobic composting in a garbage bag, is uh, your garbage bag, and then we're going to need three components. So our first component is our yard waste and our, essentially our brown materials. So this bucket here has uh, all of my shredded newspaper, phone books that I never use and no one does, uh, shredded leaves, whatever. So we're going to add this to our garbage bag. All right. So that's part one. The next part is actually adding basically soil. So I have a mixture of potting soil, regular soil, and also compost from all of my different efforts because we want to introduce uh, a number of active microorganisms to the, uh, the compost pile to basically get the process going. So let's go ahead and add that. This bag's going to be a little heavy. <laughs> and then lastly, what are we forgetting? Food scraps. So, my food scraps look a little unique. I've actually been setting aside waste for this project for some time now, and I kind of forgot because my habit is normally to add some shredded leaves in with the mixture and essentially pre-compost until I have enough material for whatever my project is. So, this one does have some shredded leaves in it, but nonetheless, it is some uh, really soggy food waste. So, let's add that for the last component of this project. <laughs> all right. I'm really glad I didn't get that all over myself. That was close. Got a little more snow in here. So, cool. So now we're almost done. So the last step, we're going to add water, so that way the contents of this, our are uh, basically moist, but we don't want everything soggy wet. Now the food scraps I just added were pretty darn moist, but I am still going to add a little bit more just because uh, of all the dry yard waste. So I'm going to reach behind me to my trusty rain barrel. I'm not going to add a lot of water, just a little bit. So the last step of this process is that we're simply going to tie off the garbage bag. That's it. And once we tie it off, the anaerobic process begins because the only oxygen that's in there gets quickly chewed up and then the pile basically turns anaerobic and gets to work. And supposedly within six to eight weeks when I open it up I should have some finished anaerobic compost. And some tips that I've read more than once actually include some um, that after that time period that you should mix it with more soil and then let it sit out for a week or two to essentially cure. So I'll definitely be doing that as well. So let me tie this off now, take it up to my balcony because I want it to be in a sunny spot so it can get some heat. This heat is actually pretty important for this process. And then once a week I'm going to try and roll this thing around which doesn't seem to be too easy because it's so heavy. But either way, uh, time to tie this off. Yeah, this is heavy. Just make sure I can tie this nice and tight. That's the key here is that this is airtight. See, 
be in six weeks. Time to open this up. And I tied these knots super tight, so I'm probably gonna have to use scissors to try and get in here. <clears throat> and I guess I should expect that this is gonna smell really bad for a little bit, but let's find out. <laughs> And I ended up double bagging this too because I got worried that the single bag might somehow get a leak. So I actually have two bags here. Woo! Okay, yeah. <laughs> it smells pretty nasty. So if this worked right, I should have some finished compost done without oxygen inside of this bag. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, doesn't look like it's completely finished, but at the same time, a lot of this is pretty nice. Let's take a look. <laughs> Not surprisingly, the items that I was too lazy to grind up didn't do so well. I found an avocado in here still, and uh, pretty much a whole eggshell, that makes sense. Take these out. Anything else in here? Now for a quick recap if all my babbling didn't make any sense. Uh, first thing is that this is not a quick process. I just spent, what was that, eight, ten weeks? Um, basically letting this do what it does and at the end of it I have some amazing compost here for sure but it's not finished um, although it does smell amazing this smells just like the stuff you get at your garden centers that's for sure so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bag it up again so uh, I can keep the process going and I think I'm gonna come back to it in the spring so that'll give it another like five or six months and I guess I'll just keep on making follow-up videos and seeing how long it really takes for the same batch to get truly broken down to the fullest. So while I did pull out some stuff like hair and things that can just take forever to compost, uh, the same rules apply with this process, just like with um, aerobic processes. You need your material to be shredded up nice and fine. I was a little bit lazy when I added a lot of my stuff here, uh, just to give a little variety and see if anything would be different with this process, but of course it wasn't. So keep your particle size in mind with the stuff you add to this, and this is a very simple process. You just throw stuff in a bag like I showed you earlier, and at the end you will have some good stuff. And even though this isn't finished, I can already tell that um, the end results of this can be really good. And again, it, it's, yeah, this is nice. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I guess stay tuned because in another couple months I'm going to open it up again and see how much better it looks. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Keep it dirty.